Nancy is not very punctual. I remember the day she got married. Doug. Traffic was awfully heavy tonight. That's much better. If she asked you to babysit for her, then she must have told you where she'd be. She's going... She's going to the hospital to visit Lisa Falkenberg. Yeah? I thought she visited Lisa Falkenberg yesterday. She said her baby looked like Bella Amzug. Listen, Peaches, Nancy's up to something, and that's her business. Why should you mix in? It's a thing between women. Yeah. Except I don't think you quite qualify yet. I mean, I know you're on your way, but you're still just a beginner. Congratulations. I saw that book in your room about crossing the threshold, and I knew you weren't reading it just for the plot. I'd have said something about it sooner, but I thought you'd be embarrassed. You're right, I would. Then I won't. Maybe we better get back in there before they start uh, asking more questions about why she's not back yet. Do we have to? some cheese and crackers. Freshen your drink? Oh, thanks. Nancy, where have you been? Peter's been waiting for an hour. I know. I'm sorry. Mother, could you, could you let Peter know that I'm back, but tell him that I'm not feeling well and that I'll call him in the morning? Aren't you feeling well? No, I'm all right. I, I just don't feel like seeing him. Not tonight. I'm sorry, Nancy. I'm not going to lie for you. Whatever's troubling you, you're going to have to talk to Peter about it now. Mother. He's in the living room with Daddy. Daddy. Peter, I'm so sorry. I know you're not the most punctual person in the world. No, I'm not, but I really outdid myself tonight. Pretty close. Thank you for entertaining Peter, Dad. Oh, I doubt he'd call it that. <laughs> well, if you're ready, let's go. I'd like to kind of go out and clean up. Want to come out to the guest house? Okay. Have a nice evening. Thanks for the drink. Oh, uh, Peter. Would you mind if, if we didn't go out tonight? Not if you don't want to. Have you got any food over there? No, no. I, I was kind of thinking I'd like to be alone tonight. What's wrong? Well, nothing's wrong. <laughs> uh, Nancy, we had a date tonight. Uh, you keep me waiting for an hour, and then you tell me you want to be alone. Now, what's the matter? All right. If it's that important, then we'll just go. I don't think so. Well, now who's being difficult? What the hell is wrong with you, Nancy? Nothing's wrong with me. How many times do I have to tell you that? Then I'd appreciate it if you'd knock it off. I don't want to be on the receiving end of your lousy mood. I'm not in a lousy mood. Then let's stop this, go over to your place, get cleaned up, and go on to dinner. What do you say? I say no. 